Welcome to this presentation on Basel 3, Liquidity Risk Framework. Just to give you a brief background, Basel 3 is a global standard for capital adequacy and liquidity risk developed by the Basel Committee on Banking Supervision. As a part of the Basel 3 framework, the Basel Committee published the Liquidity Risk Measurement Framework. In this video, we will discuss the two liquidity standards developed by the Basel Committee for internationally active banks. Both these standards have separate but complementary objectives for supervisors to use in liquidity risk supervision. The first objective is to promote the short-term resilience of the liquidity risk profile of banks. The objective of this standard is to ensure that a bank maintains an adequate level of high-quality liquid assets that can be converted into cash to meet its liquidity needs for 30 days under a significantly severe liquidity stress scenario specified by supervisors. As you can see in the formula, this standard requires that the ratio of high-quality liquid assets to total net cash outflow over the next 30 days is more than or equal to 100%. The net stable funding ratio NSFR standard is structured to ensure that long-term assets are funded with at least a minimum amount of stable liabilities in relation to their liquidity risk profiles. The NSFR aims to limit over-reliance on short-term wholesale funding during times of buoyant market liquidity and encourage better assessment of liquidity risk across all on and off balance sheet items. In addition, the NSFR approach offsets incentives for institutions to fund their stock of liquid assets with short-term funds that mature just outside the 30-day horizon for that standard. The NSFR is defined as a ratio of available amount of stable funding to the amount of required stable funding. This ratio must be greater than 100%. Stable funding is defined as the portion of those types and amounts of equity and liability financing expected to be reliable sources of funds over a one-year time horizon under conditions of extended stress.